Not a great hand. I do have company. I wonder if I can play, I already have a decent amount of lands that come into play tapped. I was gonna say, I wonder if I can play more of the cycling lands. Not sure how I'm gonna do against Ragdos or Dunsack. Probably not super well, but maybe Skyclave Apparition can carry me. Rogue plus company? I don't know, I was kind of impressed by Rogue. Daily quests are you off a deck because you're playing a different deck. You realize I can only play one deck at a given time, right? Ooh, Chandler, that's not a good one. Oh, I have no interest in letting them... Uh... Dude, it's actually so good in Spirit too, because they get a 2-2 two -two token, and you don't care, because literally every other creature in your deck has flying. That's not, I mean, I already knew it was so good. It's just another reason why it's... Because usually these cards, when you're playing a beatdown deck and they get a token, then you're like, well, that kind of sucks, but I'm not even carrying this deck. If that was a hiss recommend, why do I play tomorrow? I just play John Company. Is it even worth it? Speaking of worth it, I guess I should do that in cycle. Then I can tap. Is CBL on? It is not. Have you read Seth's article on the Monday announcement? No, honestly, I, I read no magic article. I haven't been reading it all lately. Even the CFB stuff I haven't read. I used, I used before CFB Pro, I used to even have like a, a Star City premium membership. And then I think my credit card expired and I didn't, it didn't renew it. I probably should. Probably should read right right what i mean i do when i'm really like looking for something specific but thing articles are good for people who don't have like who don't play a lot of magic and don't have a lot of time to like keep up to date and stuff but i literally spend my life playing magic or on twitter so it's usually like nothing new Watching croquis is higher be per minute than reading articles. That's probably not true. Reading articles is actually probably pretty high EV. Reading the good articles. Oh, this game went well. Oh, you were making a bad joke. <laughs> My problem was that 90% of articles were just stating obvious stuff and not really adding anything. Yeah. That's why I really didn't like to write. I was like, just torture myself to, to like do something good and I feel like it's not just as tough. But it's like not that big of a deal, honestly. Because a lot of people, I mean, that's what I was saying. If you like, you work for a card store, you watch a lot of magic and play a lot of magic. And so it's not, you're not really the like target audience. And it's okay to just write articles that are like, you know, not groundbreaking, but. But 
did Kai tweet now? How did he embarrass himself today? Classic click big tile for another blue white control stream. Wow. Oh man, the old oh, man's gain is way off. I don't think I'm on Gust. It's probably it, right? I think Lofty Denial is probably not great. I have one land. It's a bit bugged, I think. I feel like when I'm mulligan I've been having trouble sliding the cards. I don't know if it's just me. How much water do you drink per day? Good question. I don't know how much water is in that water pitcher. I pretty much only drink water. I have a glass of wine occasionally. I haven't even been drinking. drinking. The, only the, the only wine I've been drinking is when I have to open a bottle of white wine for cooking. Then I have a few glasses because I don't use it fast enough. And I've been drinking this Perrier juice lately, which is kind of a bad habit. But... Whatever. A little sugar. Yeah, coffee. Been off coffee though. I've been drinking. Started drinking coffee every day, and then I try to like stop. Try to only drink coffee when I feel like I'm gonna need it, and I'm gonna be like too low energy for the stream. I haven't tried the Neo Form deck now. It seems like I don't know. It just doesn't seem like it. It could ever be top tier. Can this list on Rush Hushbringer? I don't know. Hushbringer is just garbage, right? Black Tar Heron. <laughs> Are you friends with Kenny Shang, Library Manipulator? Whenever I see I see Black Tar Heron, I think of Kenny. So Tar. Just drink decaf. I heard they make decaf by like bleaching the coffee. Is that true? Is that how you make decaf? I'm a bit worried that if I play Fortress and they thought sees me. Ah, I guess they have Sailor and draw some cards. Decaf coffee is a new CFB energy drink. I don't get it. You have a PhD in chemistry ultimate price. I'm assuming Get Smart has a PhD in chemistry too, even though probably way different chemistry. Seems really good, right? I could have Wish's Vengeance, no, I still have Valorous, never mind. I'll do Kira. Or is I supposed to do Double Lord? I have Lethal. What is there to think about? I don't know. I could get a Phantom and copy it. It's more damage. Oh yeah, Lurus doesn't prevent Witch's Vengeance. I was thinking about Giganta. I was like, well, they still have their... Uh... Yeah. I guess I should have copied uh, Supreme Phantom because of Witch's Vengeance. Kieran is in 4 yeah, it was like Jumpstart or something. Whatever that symbol is. I 
Well, that isn't very hard. Seemed like they had a reasonable draw too. Shackle guys just owned them. Shackle guys just totally owned them. And then Skyclave Apparition too, I don't know. When you say you're gonna incinerate Ran, Keg W, but you actually broke it. Keg wait. His X should be pretty consistent. Ah, uh, yes, my problems begin. Well, it was fun while it lasted. I had a good time playing this deck. No apparition, never lucky. Or playing the versions without Giganta. Nice deck. Remember when people didn't play Giganta at the at the Mythic Invitational in their John deck? That was interesting. I didn't have their priest, yeah, but I don't think it's a winning winning line. I think I just have to hope for the best. Mm. The mana problems begin. How many planes planes did I end up playing? I think I only have one basic in my deck. Well, a change should also give you hex proof. I think that would be fair. They are, they are pretty low. And it's not like it's like crazy card advantage that's going on right now. I've been kind of reckless not playing around claim with my rattle chains up, but I think I have to gamble a bit. That's GG. Probably win if I have a second source of blue. If I could have played double spell last turn, I would have like double spell again this turn. Like a bad play by them. Seems like the only way they can lose is if they whiff on company. I have a hard time believing they don't have like two creatures or something.
3-3-3. Yo, bad Camille, merci, mec. Ça fait un petit bail. All right. Well. How many rips do I want? One. I don't think I mind the Essence Scatter Exclude plan, honestly. I think I need baffling ends. Do I need the first rest in peace? Seems pretty good. I could see lofty denial being kind of awkward. I guess I won't do essence scatter. Maybe I won't do spyglass either. First rest in peace got to be pretty good value, right? Butcher, Reaper, Cat Oven. I'm going to try Exclude. I think Exclude on the play should be pretty good. I'd not be happy playing in someone who's excluding their deck as a... as a John Coco player. Starting the game at 14. Cool. Gonna lose because my rest in peace uh, daily quest of losing because rest in peace is not literally any other card in my 75. There's no blue white path one. There's a white green one, but I think Sun Petal Grove's just better because I have double white spells and like if I have to play it as a white source for my Skyclave Conclave and then I don't it means I don't have my green source for company. It's pretty bad. I think it's gonna happen pretty often. Well at least I have no bad draws in my deck. Except for that, worst card I could have drawn. Jinxed it. Yeah. Is it that complicated? Just use your priest. Sackless Strider token, kill stuff. I don't get it. To be fair, the John the John deck's pretty complicated to play. Huh. It doesn't matter what I sack. I sack that to ping this. I sack that. I'd have won this game if Rest in Peace was a Spyglass.
Yeah. I could still win. I have. I mean, I could just hit Skyclaves. It's rough. It's a lot of damage. Hopefully they sack it to the oven. It's good, now I can just block without giving them a 2-2. Two -two. I think that's good for me. Maybe the food is good for them. I think I should just block, honestly. I mean, rest in peace is doing work. No damage, no woe striders. But I might have won if it was like a lofty denial or just a creature. Yeah, it's gamblish. Yikes. Is that how it works? Hello. That's a yikes. Yeah, it does make sense actually. I can't.